let's talk first about pH balance. And Dean alluded to it. This was one of the first things that happened to Dean, is he balanced his pH. So pure water is 7. That's how this scale was made. The pH scale goes from 0 to 14. 0 is the most acidic substances on Earth. 14 are the most alkaline. Pure water is the base for the scale. How far away is the water and liquids in your body from pure water? Okay, well, uh, is it around here, around black coffee, which would be about five, acid rain, which is about four, artificial sweeteners, about three, the soft drinks at a pH of 2.5, right, because that's what most of them are. They're somewhere between 2.5 and uh, 3.5, so I call them acid drinks. They're not soft, okay, there's nothing soft about them. So, so where is your pH? This is extremely important because... If you don't balance your pH, okay, your swimming pool, you have 44 quarts of water in your body, almost 10 gallons, your swimming pool is going to go turn, thank you, and become a breeding ground for microorganisms. Because that's what, why does the pool turn green? Because microorganisms breed in that dirty swimming pool. So, you have to balance your pH. And Remember this, pH balances the electricity in your body. We're talking about electrical balance because potential hydrogen, that's what, stands, that's what pH stands for, it's potential hydrogen ions. That's the amount of positive ions that are in your, your system and in your liquids, okay? So pH, what we're doing, this is a very simple explanation, is that we are adding negative alkaline ions and we're balancing out the electricity in the body. When that happens your neuron starts firing properly and your cells start communicating with each other properly. There's an acidic blood cell, it's all stuck together, right? And here's an alkaline blood cell. All the cells are bouncing off each other. And I won't get into the deep science of this, okay, though Tony Robbins does. Tony Robbins, you know what Tony Robbins says, don't you? That pH balance is one of, the keys, one of the keys to success. And he explains exactly this. These cells are stuck together because of positive and negative. When, a magnet, positive, negative, sticks together. When you get a bunch of negatives together, bounce off each other, right? You can't put two negative poles together. That's the simple science of what's happening here. It's profound, folks. It's profound. So what does this affect? Blood flow. This affects oxygen to your cells. This affects nutrition to your cells. Because look, here, you're all clogged up. This is huge. So how do you test your pH? Very, very simple. Anyone here can get your pH tested tonight. It, not publicly, all right? <laughs> it can be a private, okay? Private pH testing. Um, you can test your pH to see where it's at. And that's probably the single most important thing you can do to guarantee good health. Clean up the water first. Imagine yourself like an aquarium. Imagine your, your cells like fish in an aquarium because they're living. What happens in an aquarium when the pH goes down, the water turns green, what do the fish start doing? Choking and dying. You know what happens to your cells? they start choking and dying too. So, the best way to balance your pH would be through diet. But in order to do that, you'd have to eat 80% fruits and vegetables. How many people here eat 80% fruits and vegetables? I know there's a couple. There's a couple of vegetarians here, right? Okay, you'd have to eat 80% fruits and vegetables and 20% of everything else. See, here's the chart again. These are strongly alkaline foods, and these are strong acidic foods and mild acidic. Well, look what's over here. Bread, <laughs> alcohol, soda pop, sugar, dairy, nuts, legumes, and meat, all in the acid food group. And here's all of the um, alkaline foods. Fruits, vegetables, avocados, almonds, kelp, melons, cayenne pepper, and asparagus. Now, does that look like the typical American diet over here on the right? No. And most of the Americans that we test, okay, they go through testing, uh, are somewhere between 4.5 and 5.5 on the pH scale. Basically, here's what happens, folks. Acidity breeds disease. 
Alkalinity breeds health. Really simple. 